you could join us as we celebrate Black History Month with the art of African American artist Romare Bearden. I'm going to tell you about his life and art and show you some things about both. And because I'm a librarian, I'm going to use books to do that. So let's start by taking a look at who Bearden was. There he was in his studio working on a collage. Bearden started out as a painter, but later felt that collage was the best medium for him as an artist to show and to express the Black American experience. Bearden was born in North Carolina, in Mecklenburg County, and he only lived there for a few years, but he would go back to visit as well. And memories of Mecklenburg County and the everyday life there would often work its way into his later collages. One of those memories was of the trains that he saw and heard. There was a train station nearby his home, and he got to know the whistles and the engineers and where the trains were going. And he liked to watch them as a boy, and trains worked their way into his later work as well. Like many blacks in the South at the time, Bearden's parents decided to leave the racism and limited opportunity there for the North. And they moved to New York, to Harlem, and Bearden grew up at a very exciting time known as the Harlem Renaissance, when black artists and writers, writers and musicians were gathering in Harlem and creating. And it was a very, very important creative time for all of them. Bearden's parents were very involved in the community, and so people would drop in, such as Langston Hughes, the poet, whose poem, My People, was the basis for this book. Bearden's father played piano, and sometimes he played piano for Duke Ellington, or other jazz greats who might stop in. Bearden liked to try to work in that sense of jazz, the rhythm and the movement of it, the music, musical movement of it, into his works in a visual way. And let's take a look at one of his collages. This is Showtime. So Bearden's family settled in Harlem in New York but he also visited his grandmother in Pittsburgh, a steel town where she ran a boarding house for black steel workers. And again, he celebrated everyday life with the boarding house in a collage, or more than one collage. And there you see the boarding house, the table, a lunch kettle, maybe his grandmother, through the window, the glow and the fire of steel production. Then also another picture, another collage of steel workers eating at a table, one is coming down the steps ready to grab his lunch pail to go off to work. So again, that celebration of everyday moments and life. While Bearden was in Pittsburgh, he met a neighborhood boy who showed him how to draw. And that was the start of his interest in art. He graduated from high school in Pittsburgh and went on to college and then went on to college in Boston where he also played baseball on a team for the Negro Leagues. This was decades before Jackie Robinson and so the teams were divided into white and black. And Bearden played so well that he was invited to join a major league team. But in order to do that, they told Bearden who was light-skinned, that he would have to pass for white. And that was out of the question for Bearden. He focused on his art, and he became part of a group known as the 306 Group. 306 was part of the address of studio where they met. And it was him and other black artists, including Jacob Lawrence, who did a series of paintings that showed the movement of blacks from the South to the North in what became known as the Great Migration. The 1940s were a time of success, but also sorrow for Bearden. In 1940, he had his first solo show, 
And in 1944, he had a major exhibition in Washington, D.C. But his mother died during that period, and Bearden served in World War II in an all-black regiment. In the 1950s, he traveled to Paris to study philosophy and art, and he enjoyed the experience there very much because he felt that he did not experience the racism there that he felt both in the army and afterward at home. While he was there, he met other artists, such as Pablo Picasso. In the 1950s also, Bearden met his wife, Nanette, whose family was originally from the island of St. Martin in the Caribbean. They married, and much later they settled in a second home on St. Martin, and some of the tropical landscape from there would work its way into some of his collages. In the 1960s, the Civil Rights Movement was going on, and Bearden joined a group known as the Spiral Group of artists, black artists, who explored race in art and the artist's role in social justice. Also in the 1960s, two of Bearden's collages appeared on the covers of Time and Fortune magazine. And much later, one of his collages, Family, was used for the year 2000 U.S. Census poster. Bearden was talented in many directions. He was a painter, he was a collagist, but he also wrote, and he wrote songs as well. During the 1950s, he co-wrote a song, Sea Breeze, that became a hit that was recorded by Dizzy Gillespie, and then later Branford Marsalis. Bearden also designed sets and costumes for the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. He also wrote a children's book, Lil Dan, the Drummer Boy, a Civil War story about a freed slave who became the drummer for an all-black regiment of Union soldiers during the Civil War. Bearden always encouraged young black artists to explore their art, to develop their talent. He helped found galleries and show space for them. And in that note, on that note, I would like to invite our students watching grades 4 through 12 to come into the library to pick up a collage starter packet to explore their creativity. We'll give you a packet that includes information about Bearden, some bits of paper and tissue, mat board, and either a magazine or it might be a store flyer, things you can cut up. You can cut out whole pictures or just cut up strips or pieces for the color for your collage. And we'll also include information about Bearden, such as this collage. This is titled, Tomorrow I May Be Far Away. And I just want to, this will be easier for you to see when you pick it up, but I just want to point out a couple things with this. For the face of the man in the middle, Bearden used 15 different cuttings for the different light and shadow and colors that make up the man's face and draw you in. He also used a product catalog for wood samples to cut up the pieces that make the shingles on the cabin behind him. For this, he used painted, painted paper. So there are a lot of different things you can do with your, with your collage. And what you want to think, we're giving you a starter kit, but you can think about what you want to include from your own life. Do you want it to be a memory from when you were younger? Do you want it to be a slice of your life now? Take a look around at what you have and if there are pieces that you would like to include in the collage. And we hope you enjoy exploring your creativity. And thank you again for joining us as we celebrate Black History Month with the art of Romare Bearden.